Welcome to this project demonstration where we control a stepper motor using a keypad and display the results on an OLED screen. In this setup, we will be able to precisely input the number of steps, set the speed, and determine the direction of the motor's movement. Using the keypad, we can easily adjust these parameters while the OLED provides real-time feedback on the motor's position and current status. First, we'll take an Arduino Nano as the main controller for our project, which handles all the operations. After that, we'll add the OLED display to the Arduino. Connect the OLED's VCC to 5 volts, GND to GND, SCL to A5, and SDA to A4 on the Arduino Nano. This display will show the real-time data and status of our stepper motor. Next, we'll add the LED to the Arduino. Connect one LED to pin D10 and the other to pin D4 on the Arduino Nano. These LEDs will serve as indicators during the motor's operation, signaling important states and actions. Next, I'll add the buzzer for indication. Connect it to pin D11 and GND. The buzzer will sound to signal key presses and important actions. Then I'll add the keypad. Connect the keypad's column pins to A3, A2, A1, and A0, and the row pins to pins 6, 5, 4, and 3 on the Arduino Nano. The keypad will allow us to input commands and control the stepper motor settings. After that, I'll add the stepper motor driver to the Arduino. Connect the stepper motor driver's step pin to pin 9 and the direction pin to pin 10 on the Arduino Nano. Additionally, connect the reset and sleep pins of the motor driver together to keep the driver active and prevent it from resetting. This setup will control the movement of the stepper motor based on the inputs and settings provided. Finally, connect the stepper motor to the motor driver. Attach the motor's four wires to the A plus and A by terminals for one coil and B plus and B terminals for the other coil on the driver. This ensures proper control of the motor's direction and movement based on the signals received from the Arduino. With the connections complete, let's move on to the coding part of the project. We'll write the code to control the stepper motor using the keypad and display the real-time data on the OLED screen. The code will also handle motor speed, direction, and repetitions, as well as control the buzzer and LED for indication purposes. After completing the coding part, we will now move on to the simulation of the project. To begin, re-enter the full screen mode of the circuit design, ensuring that all components are visible. Once everything is set, start the simulation to observe the stepper motor's operation based on the inputs provided. On the OLED display, you'll see a menu with key options, steps, reps, speed, position, and direction. This menu allows you to adjust the number of steps the motor moves, the number of repetitions, motor speed percentage, the motor's current position, and the direction of rotation, either forward or backward. Uh, for testing, we input 100 steps, 10 repetitions, set the speed to 50%, and chose the direction as backward. The keypad has key functions for easy control. Hash symbol moves to the next menu option, star symbol deletes the last number, A changes the motor's direction, and D starts the motor operation based on the set inputs. Once we start the motor, you'll see it moving according to the inputs, completing the 100 steps for each of the 10 repetitions in the backward direction as specified. As you can see, with the input of 100 steps and 10 repetitions, the motor runs a total of 1,000 steps in the backward direction. This is because the motor completes 100 steps per repetition and repeats this process 10 times. Now I'm inputting some random numbers for all the values, steps, repetitions, speed, and direction, to test how the motor responds to various scenarios. For example, we might set the motor to move a different number of steps, adjust the speed to a higher or lower percentage, and switch the direction. 
This will allow us to explore how these changes impact the motor's performance and observe the real-time adjustments on the OLED display. Watch closely as the motor adapts to the new settings and enjoy experimenting with different combinations to see how they affect the motor's movement and operation. Uh, here's the end of this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more exciting simulations and projects like this. Thanks for watching.